I was five, Tobe was seven, about to go to Cranbrook as a boarder. I was about to be eight. About to be eight. <laughs> and the first time we can remember doing something together was at Salt Pan. And we went down onto the mud flats and we played with the blue soldier crabs. I just found Kate just a wonderful, a wonderful person. And um, I didn't ever forget that. Um, and then later, when we were uh, in our teens, I made repeated efforts to interest Kate in me, <laughs> which failed. <laughs> um, oh, that was because I regarded Toby as my very special friend. And I didn't want a romantic interest with him because my experience romantic interest, interests failed. <laughs> and I didn't want to lose him. I, I was living in a, in a share house in Darlinghurst and that's where we first became lovers and we both knew that that was going to happen. Uh, oh, it, was, it, it was just, wasn't it? Yeah, I was 18, nearly 19. Yeah. 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 And we've been yeah. absolutely fine, yeah. Yeah. rock solid ever since. I think it was when we joined up again in Spain that we really... That, that was, was our honeymoon, wasn't it? I yeah. mean, we weren't married, but, yeah. but the yeah. time we were in Malaga and the, the time we were there, that was, um, that was the honeymoon. Um, yeah. And we didn't get married. Nine years um, later. We, we, we married in... Uh, 1979. No, 1979, and we, we, we became lovers in 1970. I think you have to work it. You have to work at your relationships. Mm, I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. you can't just let it slide. You, you, you know, if things are going off the rails, I think you've got to think about, well, you know, how am I behaving? What, what, what did I, what did I do wrong there? And I know, from my own point of view, that sometimes things happen, and I reproach myself, um, and I realise that. I behaved in an inappropriate way. You know, we do hard physical work and sometimes my expectations of Kate are probably a bit <laughs> unrealistic. You know, of course you can lift that <laughs> higher. <laughs> um, and uh, oddly enough, it's, it's me that's physically collapsed recently, <laughs> which is making us, to, you know, reappraise things too because where we live is it, it requires a lot of physicality i think also that um we've got very similar mm. ambitions interests and interests mm. and building this place is I mean, this is only the last 10 15 years of our life but um i just can't believe i've been lucky enough to have someone who is interested in doing this with me. I mean, no, I can't think of another person that would have t taken me and this project on. <laughs> mm. It's just so huge and so beautiful and so meaningful and so important. Mm. Um, mm. Apart from the kids, like, this is the most creative mm. thing in my life, in time. And, and I think that we, um, we understand each other's uh, aspirations whatever they might be. Mm. And, and support. And we, I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think we do support yeah. each other in, in, in that, whatever it is. Mm. Um, I mean, for years I was uh, working in the studio and Kate supported the family uh, through her efforts. Miles dying has mm. made us lean upon each other. Mm. Um, and, and so has ageing together is making us lean upon each other. Mm. Uh, so I think, if anything, we're growing more dependent rather than less. Yeah. Miles helped us a lot here. And, you know, he was an integral part of it. I don't think either of us could leave this place because of the Miles. Mm. Mm. You know, not that there's any mm. question of that. Connection. I've, I've, I've got lots of things I want to do. And, you know, it's always, as soon as we get the sunroom or the staircase or the, well, the garden. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem and, uh, yeah. I mean, just there are so many little projects. I like the little birds and things that I make at Christmas, those, those sorts of things. Mm. 
in my in my defence. Toby built me the most beautiful <laughs> studio at defense. Catherine Hill Bay. You I did. was going to mention that I spent a lot of time building Catherine Hill Bay. Yes, 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 a beautiful <laughs> studio. And, and also in my defence, I'd like to say that um, the upstairs attic was. Um, uh, you? It, 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 yeah. it, it was decided that that would be my studio, and, and as we were doing it, I thought, well, no, why can't it be our studio? So, you know. Yeah, I um, have a space up there as well. She does. <laughs> yeah, Kate yeah. does have somewhere yeah. to work, yeah. just as I yeah. do. Yeah. Mm. I tend to need storage for my colorist <laughs> materials that would probably yeah, never storage. be used, which is, yeah. <laughs> storage is a problem. Mm. Um, I think Kate is a, a, a hidden artist. <laughs> She certainly hasn't come out and waved her flag and said, here I am and this is what I do. Uh, and I think that that's very necessary in being an artist. I think I was a, or am a frustrated architect. I certainly a frustrated a builder. That's probably didn't have the um, background to even think of going and just becoming a builder. That was just such a... At that time, it wasn't probably something that women did. Mm. I've always loved building, yeah. you know, from cubbies, rearranging rooms, you know, environments have always been mm. a fascination for me and us. Well, I'll, I'll lay claim to the idea of buying this piece of land that, that occurred, occurred to me, and, and we pursued that. And a piece of land? No, this piece this of land. This piece? Uh, we'd moved away and... I just thought, well, why don't we see if we can buy that piece of land that we always liked? And we, we, thought we, we, managed, we managed to do it. We, we succeeded in doing that. So that's all I'll mm. say. I had an overwhelming feeling when we first walked onto this, this feeling of mm. homeness, you know, of belonging. It's fabulous and we, we love it. Mm. We actually mm. love being here. Yeah. Mm. I don't want to be anywhere else. Mm. Yeah. That's the problem. We keep having this conversation of if we can't live here, where would you like to live? And there's like, well, we could do this and we could do that and we could do the other thing, but I really don't want to do, you know, even talk about this because what I want to do is stay here. Mm. But mm. then, you know, the, fire, so that's the why, firewood and the that's why we think, water. That's, we're thinking about, you know, well, you know, how can we make this less physically demanding mm. to be able to stay here? Mm. And that's what we're involved in at the moment. You have to ignore those things and you have to go to the thing that you directly want to do, which is, for my case, manifest, make some paintings that otherwise they won't be made. Mm. Got anything you want to say, Kate? <laughs> no? No? I do. You just... I do. What? I love you. <laughs> <Thanks for> you. <laughs>